Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Drive episode 2 for this series and last time we left off we were spreading out doing a lot of scouting and uh, setting troop ships down to check out some of these anomalies that are going around all around us. So let's jump right back into it. I'd like to get a third colony set up at some point around here but it's just hard right now to say where a good spot that is. Um... Ooh, so they're threatening us. That's fine. I'm not afraid of them. And we've got an exploration f force coming in this way. Where is my troop? Oh, there's two. I just realized that there's two anomalies here, right? No, 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 there's not. Crap, I came to the wrong side. Can I beat him there? Potentially. But he is he a troop transport or is he a scout? Ah, they're troops. I don't think I can beat him there in time. Ooh, hyperspace flux. Okay, so hyperspace flux basically means um, it's inhibiting warp travel throughout the galaxy. So nobody can warp right now, which means he's going to beat me there uh, very easily. So let's, I guess, send our troop up here. So I missed it, but that's fine. Because there's two in this system, so I'll just send them up that way. And our exploration ships had enough to explore some more. Freighters moving up and about. Let's cr increase the speed a little bit here. Not that that's going to help anything because everybody right now is in a hyperspace flux. That's why nobody's really moving. Okay, what happened on this planet? It looks like... Oh, they just found an abandoned mine with some crappy stuff on it. And what appears to be tough thought crystals. Oh man, plus one research per turn to the owner of this planet. Plus one research per turn. They didn't they didn't take the planet though. Owner of this planet gets plus one research per turn. It could be a very good research planet. Yeah, that's something we probably want to bank on then. Let's see, where's that planet? It's right there. It's fairly close to my system. Yeah, that's something we really want to bank on. Okay, ships can start uh can start warping freely again. Let's get I need to get some troops together how many troop ships do I have here now I have two two troop ships is not enough but it's a start where is that system it's right here yeah we want to capture that so we can get the science boost so let's uh, we can make that just a strictly science planet so let's go to our planet here I've got one troop sitting on it right now. Let's bump some other troops up. Oh, the the Relay Devoted. So the Relay Devoted is another race that's going to be partaking here in our battle for supremacy. So far, we have some pretty good places here. There we go. Let's see. Can I get one of these? Yeah, I get both of these, actually. So let's launch all these troops here. Grab them up. And we're going to send them down as well. Just have a nice big brawl colonize that for a research planet okay so what do we got going on here uh can i land on that planet before these guys destroy me probably not think this is going to get blown up yeah oh no he made it somewhat Ew, is he gonna make that nope he's not there you go spinning out of control and he exploded but we did get on here i believe we did did we get anything? Revealed we got another anomaly. Okay, let's pause for a second. Where is that ship? Did he not get that anomaly? We did. We got there. Okay. So he's heading towards the anomaly now. Let's see what we get. So it's a tomb. And tombs can have some pretty good stuff sometimes. Alright, so... We discovered an ancient tomb, Horrors of the Ancient. Your forces enter the mysterious tomb and find evidence of a long-dead civilization. Deep within the tomb's halls, they discover a mysterious artifact encased in some sort of energy shield. They disable the shield and take the artifact. Upon returning to the planet's surface, they find themselves surrounded by the skeletons of the long-dead, seemingly animated by the same energy field that had encased the artifact. So, we got an artifact, the Birth Crystal. This mysterious crystal shard emits an... Uh, 
enigmatic radiation that induces good health and long life we get a population growth bonus of 50 percent now this artifact here these are extremely powerful there's several of them in the game you can get uh, this one is a very powerful artifact and once you get it it's yours forever unless you trade it away but you can never lose artifacts uh, this one's particularly useful because now our entire empire is going to have a 50 percent population growth which means we're going to blow up pretty quickly um, as for the skeletons yeah, just we weren't even going to stand a chance. But that doesn't matter because I believe we still have... Uh, we're being threatened again. I believe we still have the... The, um... Relic. Where can I actually see that? Is it on my... I'm almost positive there's a place I can see the relic. Well, can we at least see the population? I really don't know where you see it. Well, there might be somewheres, but uh, as of right now, I have no idea where that location is. You probably see it in the diplomacy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, owned artifact. So we've got it there. Birth crystal. It is ours. Population growth modifier plus 50%. Very, very good indeed. All right, we've got all of our troops heading down there. They're almost all the way down there. As for the troops, we've got other anomalies around the area. Where is my other troops? Do I not have any more? I guess I sent them all down here. Okay, well, let's launch a, an assault on this planet as soon as they all get here. And here they go. So they're going to assault this planet here. And hopefully it's enough to take these guys out. I really don't know, honestly, if it is. Yeah, I think it's going to be enough. Yep, it looks like we're going to be able to clear them out. We definitely have them outnumbered at this point. I mean, bears with samurai swords. There we go. So the planet is under control now. We should be able to explore this mine here, potentially. Oh, it is an incredibly productive mine. Okay, awesome. Okay, so let's set this planet to colonize. Um, okay, so basically what they're saying right now is that the, the humans have already claimed that system is something that they, uh, that they want. And telling me not to colonize it, basically. Um, I'm just going to tell them to kick rocks. I don't care. I'm going to colonize the planet. Oh, wait. Did the humans already... So, did I literally just clear that out for them? It would appear that way. So, the humans kicked us off because they just settled on it. Wow, that's some terrible luck. Okay. Well, let's send our troops back here to our home system, I guess. That's a shame. But that's how it goes sometimes. We've got a bunch of fighters here as well as our mothership. Why don't we grab these up? Because I think I'm going to want to do some battling soon. So we had a colony ship being produced. Let's cancel it. There's no point in building that anymore. Let's get some more fighters. We'll go four, four, and then we want to get some more troops as well. And the aeroponics farm is complete, so we'll actually also click on here real quick. Or, I already got an aeroponic farm, so where can I put it? On this system over here? You know, let's just go into here. It'd be a lot easier if I do it this way. As you can see, the population here is starting to grow pretty, uh, pretty quickly, especially with us moving units over here. They're still building a spaceport, so it is going to take them a while. And then we'll get the aero, uh, the aeroponic farm place down as well let them build that up but either way it's growing pretty steadily and as for tor i need to build some more freighters but i'm not going to worry about that now we definitely need to get another place um colonized where is another good planet I could go for a planet that's got production we've got a planet here that has an anomaly on it as well as a planet here
1.2, but this holds 12 point, uh, 12.2 population. So let's set that up to be colonized. And actually, just to make sure I have it all good to go, let's make sure that colony ship is up near the top. And we've met the polyps. So I believe that is our final race, if I'm not mistaken. Pause the game real quick. So it'd be the humans. Okay, colony ships completed. Uh, how many races? Did we meet them all? Yes, we did. So we've got the humans, the Opteris, the polyps, and the Raleigh, de or Raleigh Devoted. Raleigh Devoted, yeah. However you say that. The Raleigh Devoted. That's what it is. The Relays. So... Overall, not bad. The polyps and the humans are pretty much the closest to allies we're probably going to get. Um, because the Opteris and the Relays are usually pretty brutal people. Where is my troops? Here they are. Okay. They're going to go, I think, okay, so we found a, a universe up here called Black Box, which is kind of funny because we're playing with the Black Box mod. And I definitely, Doc's World, Gremlin's Vice, and these are actually named after some of the people who have worked on the, on the mod. So that's where these names come from. So Febdards, I believe, Shooter's Plane, Devox Rock, uh, Gremlin's Vice, and Doc's World. Gremlin's Vice, I know being uh, Crunchy Gremlin, I believe is the name he goes by, and he's one of the main people that works on the mod. So that's pretty cool. They've got that whole system there. We definitely want to check out that because it could be something pretty neat uh, if they've got a whole system dedicated to themselves. As well as Gremlin's Vice with a 2.9, 2.3, and a 7. These are all really, this is a really good system. Doc's World and Gremlin's Vice are two extremely uh, amazing planets. It almost makes me want to divert from Squeezer over to there. Um, Let's see. They want a mutual defense pack, pretty much, just saying we're not going to attack each other. I'll go by that. Since I, I fear the humans probably aren't going to like us, and the Apteris definitely are going to go to war with us at some point, I'll definitely take that. So I'm going to switch this colony ship over to this system here, because we're going to go for, let's see, 2.9, 2.3, 2.5, 2.2. We're going to go for Gremlins... Vice. He still is set towards that. Is there a way I can stop him from colonizing that? I think I got to go here and set this up. Cancel the colonize. There we go. Then grab the colony ship. And I want the colony ship to colonize. Uh, let's go for Gremlin's Vice. Definitely a system we need to uh, colonize. Okay, so the Apteris don't like us because they want to colonize that system. They can kick rocks. I will do whatever it is I need to do to make sure they, they're not allowed to colonize this system. And I want this planet as well, so I'm going to set that up to be colonized next. And then if I have to go to war with them, then so be it. That system is extremely valuable. Tor, Tor, what are you producing? You've got some Vulcan Thanes. Let's finish up this county ship and get that heading out ready to go. Let's get some more troops, and then let's get some more fighters. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah, I fear that we're going to have some issues with the Opterius in this system here. They're definitely not going to like me taking this, but I could care less. Okay, where is the anomaly? Ah, the anomaly is gone. They they grabbed it. The Opterius grabbed it. I hate that. I wonder if I can grab up any more. Well, let's send our troops over here. This will be probably the last one that we can try to grab. And it might already be taken. You know what? I'll, I'll grab one troop ship and send it over here. And the other ones. All right, let me do this. Go like that. Grab one troop ship. And send him over to this system. There we go. As for these troop ships, I'm going to keep them here. Because um, I'm going to want to probably be on one of those planets by the time the colony ship gets there. Or I want to be at least in the area. And the next colony ship's heading out that way. Now, it'd be nice to find some worlds, too, for production. Definitely Squeezer's a good world, so it's something to consider. 
I want that research role that the humans took, but I'll have to worry about that later. 1.9. Spray would be a good production world. Okay, what's going on? Let's clear some of these out. Oh, there we go. Right click. Oh, they're going to hate me when I take this. And I love it. Sweet, we're about to get Gremlin's Vice. I was very worried that the Apteris would beat us to it, but they didn't. Alright, let's land our troops on Gremlin's Vice, and there we go. So they do fear us, actually, a lot. As you can see, the three bars over here, I don't believe I mentioned it before. You've got your trust, your anger, and your fear. And they fear us um, because of our military strength, so that is good. And they're talking about military consequences against us. They're not very happy. But we've stored all of our troops there on the Gremlin's Vice. Now let's set it up uh, to uh, be a nice Hubble for us. So aeroponic farm is not really too much of an issue right now. Uh, but let's get a military outpost down. And then we'll go for the, actually, spaceport first. So spaceport and then military outpost. And then the farm will drop just to get it. All right, there we go. Now, let's go into here real quick. Do I have this set up for, how do I have this? I don't have any governor on this. Do I want to set a governor up or do I want to, how is he doing with this? It looks like he's got it pretty under control. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll set a governor on both of these as well. Um, and have them run it since they seem to be doing a fairly good job so far. As soon as I think that they're, they're, uh, screwing it up, I will, I'll jump in and I'll intervene. But other than that, things are looking pretty good. Uh, as for this system, pause real quick. I definitely need to get, and it looks like there's already queued up a little bit. I need to get some more freighters. A lot more freighters. And if I can actually pump out like one or two of them right now. Well, that works actually. Pump out three of them. There we go. And the freighters are all starting to move around a little bit. They're not the greatest off the bat, but that's okay. They get the job done. Colony ship's almost there to colonize that next planet, which will be very good. That'll give me some very strong food planets. And as you can see, everybody else is starting to spread as well. Um, I'd like to colonize some of the planets in between these systems as well. Is this just a star with no planet? Interesting. One point four, one point five. Both of these planets are not bad. One point three production on Runchy three. Um, that could be a good production planet. Food's gonna be rough. Yeah, let's set that up to be colonized. And holy crap, we discovered an ancient tomb. Horrors of the ancient. So let's see what we've got here. Um, artifact granted nano collective controller. This is, this is control device. So this is a control device linked to a semi sentient swarm of subspace dwelling nano creatures. Whoever possesses the control device controls the swarm. Empire, empire wide production bonus 10%. Awesome. So that was a really good find. Um, activity and threat colonization activities continues high, so they're getting even more upset because I'm claiming more areas that they wanted. Probably because I colonized Doc's world, but, um, I'm not even, um, I don't even feel even a little bit bad about that. Okay, there we go. So, getting all of that, uh, colonized and getting it all set up and ready to go. Greetings, let's trade. We have all kinds of good stuff for you to buy. Let's have a trade treaty. Let's. Uh, me and the populace here will probably become good friends, I think, in this game. And then the humans, the uh, the humans are debatable, uh, but the Relay Devoted and the Opteris were not going to like each other. I can already tell. So where was that? Was where was where did I find that artifact? I guess it was in this system over here. Because I think I sent some troops over there. Speaking of troops, let's. Launch troops. And let's send them off. I think I have a mission for them. 
or at least one of them. Let's head over to this system here. And check out that anomaly. I think that's going to be it for the anomalies. It looks like they've all gotten eaten up pretty quickly. It might be one in this system. The system's pretty well guarded, so I might be able to get in there, sneak in there, take something. That plant there's got a production of 2.3. That's insane. I'm right here in the middle of the map. Everybody's around me, and I'm in the middle. I'm not comfortable with this playthrough at all right now. All right. So how are we doing here? So interstellar governance unlocked. So we've unlocked another research. Let's take a look at our research really quickly. Um, overall, not looking too bad. We're going for cryogenics next. It's going to help our colonies, our new colonies we've got uh, to continue to build up. Physics, we went for thub subspace theory and got the 20% star drive speed. Let's see. By converting all of our engines to the reaction drive standard, we can achieve 20% faster sublight speeds and maneuverability. Let's go for the reaction drive. And then I think we'll start focusing on some military upgrades um, after that. Or the biosphere actually would be good. Uh, biosphere boosts production of or uh, population of planets. So that's definitely something we need to get our hands on. Where is a good area for me to set up a research area? Mm. A nice research planet. Definitely the planet that was over here that got captured. That would have been a great research plan. Yep, and that's exactly what they're using it for. As expected. Alright, well, we are out of time for this episode, so I'll have to figure it out next time. What we're going to do is... Um, oh, we got an anomaly on this planet here. On this one? Oh, there's a Nami. So we'll set, send a ship over there to check out that anomaly on this planet. But yeah, so we are out of time, like I said earlier. Uh, I think next time we'll look for uh, a couple planets that can be production-heavy planets and research-heavy planets. And I think we're going to get close to build a, uh, building up our fleet. Uh, there's not really too many places I can expand. I'm going to take probably Squeezer in this system as well as... Casey Gray, and uh, that's probably what I'm going to do there, and I'm already taking Runchy, it looks like. Yeah, I'm already going for Runchy. I'm going to turn that into a colonization, or a production planet as well. There's a good planet right there, 19 and 2.9, good food planet. Yeah, so we've got a couple of options away, and then I'm going to come down here and probably do battle with some of the races that are in here and try to clear up some of these planets that are pretty nice. So that is the plan. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I will see you next time.